It's now time for the Reaver Sports Full Game Recap. We go all the way back to January 12th, year 2024. The National Predators were in Dallas to take on the Stars for the third of four regular season meetings. Head coach Andrew Burnett deployed his lines and combinations in the following way. Forsberg, O'Reilly, and Nyquist, Trenton, Sissons, and Gurionov. That is a new line combination right there to watch for. Smith, Novak, and Evangelista. Parson, McCarron, and Thomas Hedry, your defensive pairings. Ariosi and Favre, Luzon, and Carrier, McDonough, and Shen. Lankinen gets the start. On the first night of back-to-backs for the Nashville Predators, we get started and we're 149 into the game. It's Lankin coming with a save on Ryan Suter's first shot on goal of the game for either team. We're at 212 of the first period. Lankin comes with a save on Lundquist at the 422 mark of the first period. We find our first penalty of the game. It's Marchman off the box. He for tripping in front of the Nashville Predators on the power play. Ottinger back in the lineup. Comes with a big save on Sissons as he drove to the net trying to make something happen. At 656 of the first period, Lankin comes with a save on Rupe Hintz at 811 of the first. Ottinger comes with a save on Philip Forsberg. A lot of play now between the face-off dots for about the next four minutes before the 12-14 mark hits. And we see Ottinger coming with a save on Jeremy Luzon. The 18-17 mark, another long stretch of continuous play between the face-off dots. Ottinger comes with a save on Alex Carrier at the 19-05 mark of the first period. Lankanen comes with a save on Ben at 19-14. Lankanen comes with a save on Lindell. And that would allow Dallas to outshoot the National Purse 7-6 in the first period in what you would certainly consider a low event period. The Nashville Predators largely outmatched the first two-thirds of this period, but did start to get their legs under them in the final five to six minutes. 209 into the second period. Now it's Ottinger coming up with a save on Cole Smith at the 309 mark of the second period. It's Ottinger coming up with a save on Philip Tomasino at 423 of the second. It's Lankin coming up with a save on Pavelski at 551. Ottinger, a save on Dante Fabro. We're all the way to 924 already in the second period, and it's Ottinger coming up with a save on Ryan McDonough at 844 of the second period. It's Lankin coming up with a save on Tyler Sagan at 9.22 of the second period. After lots of back and forth and some fairly low event hockey, it is Luzon getting the National Predators on the board first in this game with his fourth goal of the season. He took the long shot, followed it up, got to the rebound of the slot area and cleaned up for his fourth goal, fourth goal of the season, giving the National Predators a 1-0 lead in Dallas. At 11.45 of the second period, it's Ottinger coming up with a save on Tommy Novak. At 12.03 of the second period, it's Cole Smith off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. While the National Purse are on the PK, it's going to be Jamie Benn picking up four minutes for high sticking. That's going to create a four-on-four four for a brief time. And that's where the National Purse are capitalizing, picking up their second goal of the game. It's Tommy Novak picking up his seventh of the season. It was off of the rush. And he got a great feed from Gorionov for Tommy Novak breaking through and getting this goal. It was a long time coming. You could tell he let out a roar after this one. This one felt good. No. Novak seventh puts the Preds up two to nothing in Dallas. Now the Predators after the four on four would expire would go on to have a two minute plus power play. Ottinger would come up with a save on O'Reilly. Significant pressure and zone time by the Preds. Ottinger would then come up with another save on Philip Forsberg. The Dallas PK would hold 1637 into the second period. It's Ottinger coming up with a save on Nyquist at the 1733 mark of the second period. Lankinen comes with a save on Lundquist at 1813 of the second period. It's Ottinger Coming up with the save on Alex Carey at 18.34 of the second period. Cole Smith with a golden opportunity off of a great feed hits the iron. And that one rings out for just the briefest of seconds. It looked like that one had gotten in and maybe went off the back post, but maybe that was more wishful thinking. But Smith hits the iron. That puck goes out of there at 18.34. Nothing else happens through the rest of the second period. We hit the intermission. The Predators now have 21 shots on goal at the end of the second period. So they go from 6 to 21. So they generate 15 shots on net in the second. The Dallas Stars, another seven shots on goal in the second. They go from 7 to 14. Preds so far have the only two goals in this game, leading two to nothing. We go over to the third period. The Preds, by the way, have had a 2-0 lead in every single game against this Dallas Stars this season. By the way, the Preds are one and one against Dallas Stars coming into this third meeting of the season. Set you up for the third period. We're 11 seconds into the third period now, and Lankin is coming up with a save on Pavelski at 109 of the third period. It's Hockenpah coming up with his second goal of the season. By the way, both of those goals are against the Nashville Predators. Perfect setup by Matt Duchesne. The Stars were buzzing all around, and it is all, not the first minute, but it's only nine seconds after the first minute. A huge momentum-building goal for this Dallas Stars team who are accustomed to coming from behind and accustomed to playing from down on the score sheet. Nashville Predators now lead 2-1, to one, just 109 into the third period. 
224 <clears throat> to the third period. Lightning comes up with a save on Harley at 251. Ottinger comes up with a save on Colton Sissons at 329 of the third period. Ottinger comes up with a save on O'Reilly. We flip things over to the backside of the sheet. We find at 341 of the third period. It's O'Reilly coming up with this 16th goal of the season. Rebound jam on Forsberg. Shot. O'Reilly cuts across the top of the crease. Finds the loose puck before anyone else can. He is so good and such a professional at doing this exact thing called bringing the jam. So he tucks the puck in for 16th goal of the season. The Preds get that two-goal lead back almost immediately, now leading 3-1 to one in the third period. 4-10 in the third period. It's Smith off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. Lankanen would have to quote a huge save on Robertson. We go all the way to 7-29 of the third period now, and it's Lankanen coming up with a save on Pavelski, but at 8-11 of the third period, it's Johnston scoring his 11th goal of the season, and Johnston seems to be another guy that you could put on the list for having good career early on against this Nashville Purse. He's a good, young-looking product. Long rebound. He puts it back in the net. Beats Lankanen. Johnston's 11th makes the game 3 to two Dallas right back in this thing again 949 of the third period it's Tyler Sagan off the box two minutes for hooking and that's where Philip Forsberg is going to work with his 22nd goal of the season the captain Roman Yossi does all of the work with the fake shot that freezes everyone on the rink Philip Forsberg wide open waiting for it on the back post had time to corral it stop it pick his shot and snipe Forsberg's 22nd of the season gives the Preds back that two goal lead yet again they now lead four to two Halfway through the third period, at 11.05 of the third period, it's Ottinger coming up with a save on Luke Evangelista at the 11.40 mark of the third period. It's Ottinger coming up with a save on Goryanov at 12.05 of the third period. It is Philip Forsberg off to the box, two minutes for boarding. Kind of a weird play how this all shook out. Two different predators took the man into the wall. Forsberg ends up getting called for boarding. The Dallas Stars find themselves on a power play, and that's where Matt Duchesne goes to work for his 13th goal. Goal of the season, making it a one goal game yet again. Nashville now leads four to three in a third period. For Matt Duchesne, we all know how good he can snipe it. Sharp angle just at the bottom of the face-off circle. He goes ahead and rips that thing into a perfect spot just under the crossbar. Not much you can do about that. Duchesne scores the power play goal for the Dallas Stars. Still 4-3 to three in favor of the Nashville Predators. At 13.55 of the third period, Ottinger comes with the save on Philip Forsberg at 14.33 of the third period. We see Hanley off the box. Two minutes for tripping on Tommy Novak. Novak chipped the puck. Chased it and drew this power play for his team. Really good effort here by Tommy Novak. Really smart play as well. Ottinger would come up with a save on Sissons while shorthanded. But the Dallas Stars PK unit would again be strong and hold strong. Keeping the National Purse off the board. In 17-20 mark. 1721 mark of the third period. We see the empty net scenario with the defensive draw for the defensive zone draw for the Nashville Predators. The Dallas Stars elect to pull a net minor. 1727 is when Nyquist puts the goal into the empty net. His 11th of the season. It was O'Reilly on the face-off win, draws it back to Yossi. Yossi hits Nyquist high in the zone. Nyquist fires it down the ice. And in just six seconds, the Nashville Predators convert on the empty net to take a 5-3 to three lead in this game. <coughs> At 1930 of the third period, it's Yuso Parson with the empty net again, coming up with his seventh goal of the season, another empty net goal for the Nashville Purs. This one comes along the wall right at the red line. Again, Parson in his seventh, the Preds' second empty net goal. That makes it 6-2-3 in the third period. Nothing would happen over the final 30 seconds of this game. So 6-3 to three would be your final score. A wild, wild third period in Dallas. And the Nashville Predators keep pushing, keep fighting, keep coming back and find a way to win this game 6-3. to three. The score is impressive by the time it's over. The Prince out shooting the Dallas Stars 38-22 to 22 in this game. And again, for the National Predators, going into Dallas two times in a row, taking all four of those points, managing to score a combined 10 goals in those two games uh, against the Dallas Stars. Uh, that's good. That's impressive stuff. And I'm very happy to see the National Predators bounce back from that previous game. The Jekyll and the Hyde thing still continues, but the National Predators got up for a game they needed to for a game against a team that's ahead of them in the standings. And they are now 2 
and one against the Dallas Stars on the season. Again, a really, really good effort to beat the Dallas Stars. And Lankanen goes 2-0 and against the Stars in a week's time. That's going to do it for the Rebirth Sports full game recap. We're going to go ahead and clear things up right here. We'll come back. We'll have analysis, box score. We'll close this thing out and so much more. We've got to get you all set in less than 24 hours till the next game. So you're listening to the Renegades of Puck podcast right here on the Full Press NHL Network.